I'll make it go. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you put it in gear? <laughs> and let go. Right, I'm the nose that knows. And now I know that today, you join me as we ride this little monstrosity. The Monaco GT. Cue the intro. <laughs> So this is the Monaco GT from Bumblebee Bikes here in my hometown of Eastbourne. Lost ya. It is completely electric. 4,000 watts. Top speed of 50 mile an hour with a 50 mile range. We shall see how it does today. I say, haven't been to Scooter since I was 16, so this is properly weird really really nimble remember no engine braking no clutch so front and left back uh, the front and back brake you've got a little lcd screen there which is pretty cool it's <laughs> actually quite fun so you're on 72 percent of volts at the moment you've got your little battery indicator there my full beams on my full beams are on that doesn't help uh, it's very bumpy although this does have fully adjustable front and rear suspension no olins or anything like that but this scooter costs 2800 quid 2800 that's mental and zero road tax I don't know what the insurance is, but I bet it's about £3 a year. And it is quite nice, just sitting here in silence. Oh, I have to forget I haven't got the acceleration on my bike. Whee! I feel like I want to tuck up. I feel a bit overdressed on my levers. Whee! So, completely electric. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll do a walk around as we get our beachy head. If we can get up the hill. It's almost got that weird fuel injected acceleration jump start that you get. Even though of course it's electric. And you haven't got the usual drone for the beautiful Scarlet today. Whee! I mean this is look at look at this. So proper nippy. I know mean, little town centre stuff. You look pretty cool. Look even cooler if I wasn't wearing a full suit. I mean, you can ride this in an actual two-piece suit like you're going to a wedding. I mean, it's quite nice sitting here and taking on the fumes of a bus and I'm being all eco-friendly. Oh, this is so much fun. It's so easy to ride. You can ride this on a CBT, riding off 17 or over. I think it has got definitely got a little bit more room than a 50cc bike. I mean, it's the sort of bike you cannot get in trouble in. The only trouble you might get in is someone not hearing you and walking out on you. You crossing? Nope. It's just easy riding, and in town, when you're constantly worried about people pulling out on you, pedestrians wandering around, 
there's just so many so much going on you don't need to be worrying or thinking about your riding you just need to do it and this you can you can just do it I mean if I lived in a big city you know five six miles from home but it's a bloody 20 minute or half hour bus journey because we all know what buses are like I would definitely consider getting one of these I mean no congestion car charge if you're in London no road tax parking's well easy it's stupidly light it also comes with a two-year warranty that includes the battery I mean look at this it's cruising along I honestly feel like if I had an open face helmet I could eat an ice cream while riding this sit here with my 99 flake just shoving it into my face do I get a nod? no nod unintimidating power on this you get that initial like I say fuel injected almost like jerk and once you get to I don't know two three mile an hour it's just buttery smooth it really is I mean you can whack this throttle right back and you know say your nan wanted one of these pot around town you get a little top box on the back I mean look bang open throttle I mean it does pick up but it's not going to wrench you off the back and, you know. Or any of you young little hipsters out there. You can have your massive beard wafting in your open face helmet. Probably smoke a pipe at the same time. Whee! Yes, right, I had to stop there because I don't really want any traffic behind me. As now we are heading out of the urban environment into some twisties but there is quite a steep incline now this says a max incline of 30 percent i have no clue what that is and what that means or how much of an incline this is so i don't want anything behind me just in case well i think we'll be fine not a problem in the world on these little bits i mean you can never really pick up elevation on a gopro but this is oh, it's not massively steep but it's still a definite you know you'd struggle to pedal up it one of those sort of steepnesses if that's any measurement to go by I mean we're still flying Look at that 35 easy well, I'm pretty much full whack it is still accelerating just not much more than 35 up here I mean, look, we've actually caught up with other traffic. I mean, that's madness. I think it's time for a little walk around. Should we have a little walk around? Yeah, let's have a little walk around. Very windy up here. But, I mean, look at this. This is gunmetal grey. There's also red, electric blue, black, and I think white. For me, the red's the best colour, but I mean, gunmetal grey looks pretty cool. Very sophisticated. It just looks cool. Bit of LED indicators. And the seat. I don't know if it's real leather, I doubt it, but it feels good. Looks pretty cool. Rack there, so you can get a tail bag on there, or top box. If you want to do some just eat delivering in your evenings some bikers coming you think we could tag along i mean center stand and side stand you've even got a remote control on the keys yes you've got a lock you got what's it, that one Hit lock, unlock. I think that one's to start it. That sounds ridiculous, doesn't it, compared to this? What a yob. It's just a cool machine. 
I'm moving the lights alright. What's it like on full beam? The same. You've even got little pillion foot pegs. Just in case you take your teenage girlfriend on the back. But then also, is this a you have a little glove box? Which I also don't know how you open. The glove box. Well look, just nothing much. Just a little USB charger in there in case you want to charge your phone or whatever. I reckon you could fit a small double chocolate fudge cake latte in there or whatever it is you weird people drink now. Yeah, so you can get your little McDonald's takeaway in there maybe. Some nuggets. I mean, yeah, just would not look out of place outside a coffee shop in Chelsea. In fact, I think it'd be pretty popular there. All right, let's set up some more twisties. This is high speed run, shall we? We can hit 40, we get 40. We hit 40. Slight incline. And I do weigh about 15 and a half stone. 42. There's a downhill section up here, which will be interesting to see. We're perfect for a little Just Eat driver in the big city, Brighton or London. Somewhere where everything is sort of 30, 40 mile an hour speed limits. You zip about, it costs you bugger all in petrol. However much it costs to charge you up. I don't know, however much your electric is, I suppose. Can't be much, I don't know, 50 odd P or something to charge up, probably. And look, good in town and it can still bring you to places like this. Really? I mean, an electric powered scooter, you're in a 4x4. Come on. I mean, how much are petrol powered scooters now? They've got to be on a similar level, like price wise, to this. And honestly, I can't see why you'd rather have a petrol one than this. One, they're noisy as shit. Sounds like an annoying bloody gnat whis whispering around your ear. They're going to be more expensive in petrol, more expensive in road tax. And they always bloody break. This thing, two year warranty, and it's electric. There's less to go wrong, less moving parts. This is definitely the way forward for scooters. 100% in my mind, the way forward for scooters. Whee! And go, go, go! This is really very steep, this hill. I mean, struggle walking up here. 32. Oh, it's 33. I mean, it's struggling, but it's still 34. I mean, it's still actually accelerating. I mean, it's absolutely destroying the battery. Look. 35. We're almost to the top. 36. Come on. Come on. 37. Nearly there. I mean, this is a new, quite tense moment to the ride. There we go, look, we made it. We've only gone and bloody done it. Utterly destroyed the battery though. But in a minute, we're gonna hit a very steep downhill, which I'm pretty sure it would definitely would not get up. That's why it did not come up that way. I apologize, Mr. Highway Maintenance Man. But whereas you're polluting the earth, I'm saving it. So fuck you. He's doing me. He's going for it. That's quite embarrassing. I can't remember the last time I was overtaken. But remember, I'm saving the planet. Are you ready for this decline? Which is, is it going to tell me how steep it actually is? 12%! I think it's more than 12% myself, but ready for this view. Oh, 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 oh. 
Actually, actually having to break down here. Forty, look, I'm not even touching the accelerator. Oh, it's very light, very light at the front when it picks up speed. Can't take your hands off at speed. <laughs> Skipped about. 42. Not even giving it any room. 44, 45. 45, that seems to be it. I think it picks up more when I'm not accelerated. And relax. Great fun. Also, if you're in East Sussex, might be the whole of Sussex, I'm not entirely sure. Um, free delivery if you buy one of these. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. They've got some other cool things. They've got something called a Stingray, which uh, I think is a little bit less powerful than this. Ooh, is that initial pickup? Um, but it kind of looks like a cruiser, but like a cruiser you've never seen before. So. I'll leave my epic description there and you can check out the pictures for yourself on their website. 